Welcome to 2015, guys. <laughs> It has been raining like a motherfucker. It's been really fucking annoying. Finally, I think it's the first time I think I've seen the sun in like three or four days. <laughs> There's been clouds overhead the whole fucking time. If you guys follow my uh, my Instagram and my Facebook, the Last uh, last couple days, I've been putting up a lot of pictures, or a couple pictures of what I've been working on since it, while it's been raining. Wow, I, that's amazing! I can actually say when I was in college. <laughs> um, while I was in college, I, I learned a programming language called Python that was really kind of like a backbone to my degree, and. Uh, Having after after learned a lot of Python stuff and, and learning how to use it, you learn that there's uh, different systems that actually run off of Python code, or different programs, or um, actual hardware that can use Python. And I had a tiny project I wanted to work on a lot. Uh, I always wanted to work on it while I was in school, but I never wanted to dedicate the time to do it because it was it was going to be pretty time intensive and while I was in school I wanted to work on you know class projects and stuff and but uh, I finally had that chance the other day um, I picked up a raspberry pi uh, no not not the kind you eat <laughs> a raspberry pi is a uh, it's, a, it's essentially a microcomputer, it's a, or a, or a small computer. It's the size of a credit card, runs about 35 bucks, and they're used for doing kind of DIY uh, computer stuff. So some of the big projects that I've seen before, people have done home automation with them. They've done, you know, RC cars and, and whatnot. I've, I've actually seen some people use them for 3D printing. They use a, a, a Raspberry Pi as the computer system that monitors the 3D printer. So it's really, the limitations of the Raspberry Pi is really what you can do, um, not what can be done with it. It's really, it's a really cool system. But I had this project for a long time that's kind of been in like the planning stages, like blueprints and information stuff. Of, if you guys ever played Nintendo 64, there was a game called Extreme G Racing, or just Extreme G. I know there was a sequel to it, Extreme G2. But the game was a futuristic racer of motorcycles that were essentially like jet cockpits on wheels. And I always loved that fucking game. So I, my, a dream of mine has always been to build one of those bikes. Well, I, now that I'm done with class and I can actually devote some time to doing stuff, I went ahead and bought the Raspberry Pi in order to build the computer system that will monitor that bike. <laughs> Those cows ran away from me. Um, and yeah, as obviously you guys have been able to tell, I, I, I'm pretty, pretty hands-on with uh, computer stuff. So I uh, picked up the Pi, I picked up a 7-inch uh, screen. 7 inch LCD screen um, and then kind of like a prototyping kit with it that helps me kind of design stuff on the board instead of having to like solder stuff it's kind of like push uh, plug and play plug and play gear but um, the uh, the biggest part to learning how to you run the Raspberry Pi is you can work with LED lights so you can kind of figure out using Python code how to control the different pins that are in the breadboards and stuff. Um, 
each pin allows both input and output depending on what what you have plugged into it so most of the ones that I've only been working that I've been working with thus far have just been output it's just been putting power to an LED light but like I was saying before if you guys follow my Instagram or my Facebook you guys can see some of the work that I've been doing and it's really small stuff it's nothing crazy the uh, the biggest thing that I've had to work with thus far is just trying to figure out which looping structure to use this is running really low. Um, which looping structure to use uh, so that when I actually do read an RPM, the uh, shift lights will actually work. But I really like the way this Raspberry Pi works out because it's it's stupid easy. It's stupid easy to learn and, and play with, and there's so much that you can do with them. There's a website that's called Adafruit um, that they focus on Raspberry Pi, Arduino boards, which are pretty much the same thing as a Raspberry, it's just they're designed for uh, C code instead of Python, and they have a much wider range of use, but uh, the, the Raspberry Pi has been around for a while, I think the first one that I saw was two or three years ago, and it blew me away, I was like, there's a $35 computer, really? The, the memory for it runs off of like the actual what would be what would be a hard drive runs off of an SD card. Uh, the B plus, which is the one that I have, actually runs off of a micro SD card, so it actually helps slim down the size a little bit. Um, but so far, like I was saying, I've done the LED stuff, and I'm waiting right now for the case to come in to actually fit the screen and all the components underneath it to create my own, uh, my own display. What the fuck are these kids doing? What the fuck? Fucking slide. Anyways, well, I've only been working with the LED stuff, I haven't worked with anything else yet, but I'm waiting for the case to come in so that I can actually do all my prototyping stuff and try and fit them inside of a, uh, a case of some sort. But it's really cool, like, you can get GPS components, you can get um, temperature, you can get uh, tilt sensors and stuff that'll actually, like, it'll read kind of a directional, like a compass as well as accelerometer stuff. If you guys don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, just Google them. Google the words. <laughs> All of the words. But uh, here pretty soon, I'll be picking up some of the other smaller components, the m a little bit more expensive components. It's kind of funny, some of, the, uh, some of the boards and chips that you can buy actually cost more than the Raspberry Pi itself. Uh, but they're they're totally worth it. It's it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm I'm essentially going to create my own tablet display, but it'll also monitor RPM, engine temperature. Um, it'll do the speed just like uh, this tablet does. But I'm gonna I'm gonna set it up a little bit different. Set it up to a way that I enjoy. But they're really cool. If you guys have ever thought about getting into kind of DIY computing stuff and learning some code, I strongly strongly suggest Python. Python is stupid easy to learn. It runs on all three systems of Linux, Mac, and uh, NPC. Stupid, it, really easy to install. I think you guys can go just Google Python, and it should be, I, I want to say it's like python.org or something, I don't know. I know for a while, when I first learned how to do it, uh, some of the professors would tell us don't go to a certain website that had Python in the name because it actually ended up being like a porn site. But. Uh, if you guys are looking in, or if you already are computer, you know, into computing and stuff, and you haven't ever seen the Raspberry Pi, definitely look it up. It's a really cool device, and that's actually what'll be Tesla's computer system for a little while, as like the, the first prototype to uh, my Extreme G project. But uh, yeah, if you guys don't follow my Instagram or Facebook, they're down in the description. Definitely click on them. I do put up a little bit different of content for there. Um, 
I wouldn't really say that it's m more personal, but there's uh, I, I put up a different side of, of me on there, uh, like like me, you know, my Raspberry Pi stuff, um, going out and doing stuff with other people, like the C2 Dub Media. That stuff gets on there quite a bit. I try and do uh, at least one photo every time we go into a shoot, so if you guys want to keep track of us there, that'd be awesome. But I'm going to get the fuck out of here. You guys uh, take it easy. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Hopefully the next time uh, you guys get a video, it'll be blue skies and not this shitty weather.